Okay, so how's it going today, tubes? So, uh, I can't see my lens because it's so super freaking bright out. And, uh, I got moved a little more snow. I'm done there now. I just, I'm working behind the house there now. And, uh, just about done there. I got a little bit more to do. But, uh, so freaking bright out. And it's just a little more bitching stuff. I guess it's not, not exactly what you guys want to hear, but I'm sick of it. And I don't know. So let me get the shop door open here and, uh, and uh, just so I'm out of the wind, because it's kind of windy again. It's not super bad, but I just don't want to be in it at all. So break it. Got some ice hanging off the side of the shop. That's nice. So, uh, I'll show you the ice here in a second. It's not much, but I just, when you start seeing this now, you see that ice hanging off the, off the bottom of the shop. That's usually not a good sign, because that means that it's getting colder out. Which it is. It's only about, uh, I don't know, 20 plus, it's close to 20 above. So I don't really know what's going on, but what's just fucking crazy is that uh, before I walked out the door just a little bit ago here, my mom started talking to me and she's like, uh, I think it was tonight, I think, or starting tomorrow or something. We're supposed to start getting. It's for the, the temperature is supposed to pack up. It's supposed to get up into the 30s. And then uh, that's supposed to happen for a day or two or something like that. And then it's supposed to uh, go back to getting cold again. So I don't know if freaking fucking spring's ever going to come. And uh, if spring doesn't come, I'm just moving because I don't want to be in this cold freaking year round. And, and, and then. And because it's getting 30 above all, there's a chance of one to two inches of snow again. So, but they don't really know if it's going to come or not. But, you know, most likely it will. And it's around for my area, so I figured it probably will come. But, uh, kind of keep forgetting to tell you, Tubes, that, um, I don't know if you guys have been, know, if you guys know this. This is for all, everybody that's going to watch. YouTube is changing their channel design again again and apparently I've seen a video on it um, that you can't even have a background picture like nothing it's all just gonna be fucking fucking white all of it like now the YouTube channels you can still have a picture but you know there's still a white background which is stupid and uh, when I first joined YouTube, they had a lot of crazy designs and shit you could do. I actually made a video on it a while ago. My old YouTube channel design that I had. I had it all green and yellow, you know, like John Deere colors. Which kind of sucked because I only got to enjoy it for a couple of months. Because then they were going to change their freaking design again. And that's what we have right now. And I'm not really typically caring for it too much. But... This new one now is going to be even more fucking stupider than the last one. I'm not too excited about it. I might just... If it gets to the point where they make you... Because I, I could have swore that I heard from... From this guy on YouTube. He said that uh, YouTube is... Something about YouTube that they're going to make us pay for... I guess putting videos on YouTube or something like that. Because there's not a lot of people that are that are uploading videos, you know, and then people have to pay to watch them, right? There's just, there's, there's, none of it, you know, for videos like mine and, you know, and other people, like Bill T Max and stuff like that, you know, well, we're not paying for that, so, you know, and they're not. So, I mean, we're just uploading it for free. But uh, apparently, they were going to change that. 
Now, if you want to watch a movie on YouTube, like Deadliest Catch or something like that, I actually subscribe to uh, to the Discovery Channel that's on YouTube. They have two channels, but the one that I subscribe to is that they actually put the whole entire show on. But you have to pay a dollar ninety nine to watch it. So, but that's what I heard that they were going to start doing to regular people's. If I'm if if I'm reading it right, but I don't really know for sure. But shit, car coming. But I heard that was going to be kind of stupid. So if it gets to the point, guys, where I have to start paying or I have to make people pay to watch my videos, I'm probably just going to quit because I'm not going to rip people off. To you know, I mean, if I make a mowing video and I have to charge somebody a dollar ninety nine to watch it. Well, fuck it. I'm not even going to bother. Why is that damn truck coming down here again? God. I hope they're not going to freaking pull into that damn alley now. Freaking garbage. But, uh... Like I said, I don't know if it's really true or not. I don't know if they're going to make people... Make people pay for it. Um... I don't really know if it's true. I mean, I don't know if it's really going to happen or not, but that's just what I could have thought I could have I heard. But, um, if it comes down to that, I'm going to quit. I'm going to be done with it. So, I mean, I like uploading videos, you know. I'm uploading one right now for a friend. And, uh, you know, I, and I'm doing it for free, you know, and I'm uploading it, you know. Wind's a little intense, holy shit, but, but, uh, you know, my videos ain't worth paying for, I mean, I could, guess I could charge them 25 cents to watch it, you know, get it as low as I possibly can, but, I'm not in, I'm not in it for the money, I'm just in it to, you know, entertain other people and keep myself busy, you know, I'm not in it for the money, I'm just in it for the fun. You know, and Bill T. Max, well, he could be doing it, but, you know, he chooses to do it for fun. I wouldn't pay to watch, I wouldn't pay a $1.99 or something to watch his, his videos, but, fuck it. I'm not going to do that to people. You can do it if you want to, but, I mean, if you're going to upload a movie, like, Christine, that old car movie, like, if you were to upload the whole entire thing... Then maybe you could charge people to watch it because it's actually a movie, but you know, I mean, for a stupid, you know, like mowing video or plowing snow, I'm not gonna charge somebody to watch it. That's just garbage, you know. So, but I could have sworn that's what I heard that they were gonna do. Is that they were gonna make make everybody have to pay for it, including me. So if I wanted to watch a video. Like, if I wanted to watch NY Raptor 6, 6's videos, I would have to pay for that. Well, I'm not going to pay for it, because it's just not worth it. I mean, you, you make good, good videos, buddy, but I'm not going to pay for it. I shouldn't have to, you know. You know, I'm just saying. But, I mean, if you were going to make a movie, that would be fine. But, I mean, just for, like, a mowing video or cutting a tree down or something, you know, it ain't worth it. Unless it's super freaking cheap, like twenty five cents, but <clears throat> wow, what you know, what a paycheck, right? But now, like those videos that I uploaded on those old tractor videos that I made, I could charge somebody to watch. I mean, I could charge somebody to watch them. You know, I could charge them a dollar or something, you know, because they just don't make those kind of those kind of tractors anymore you know and I'm doing pretty good on the views so not just not so much for the comments but you know or the likes I got some comments and some likes which is fine but I mean a movie like that would be worth it but you know it's no I don't choose to do it that way it's stupid I'm not going to charge somebody a dollar, 99, or even 25 cents. If I could get it to maybe to a penny, you know, a penny, 
Then maybe, you know, that way it would be alright, because all you guys have to do is just pay a penny. But, you know, it can still suffer. It can still hurt your wallet at the end of the month. You know. I guess you would just have to upload one video a month. <laughs> Which would kind of, definitely kind of fucking suck. Because then that puts you behind schedule on everything. You know, I try to keep up with my videos. And I got three videos now that I got to get uploaded. I'm uploading, I'm downloading one right now to the computer. And then I got to get this one up. And then I got to get my kitty cat one up. So, I got three videos to do. And, uh, you know, it takes time, of course, but I don't really mind it, I guess, but, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to charge somebody to watch those movies or those, you know, damn videos. They ain't worth it. They ain't that worth, the, ain't worth that kind of money. And I know a lot of people would, would agree with me, too, but, you know, like I said, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if I'm really going to go, go through with the plan or not. I kind of doubt it, but... For their uh, new channel, the channel design again, it's just stupid. Every year, they're changing their channel design. I wish they would fucking leave it. And I guess there, there is a lot of people already bitching, but they're not going to listen to you anyway. When they changed the, uh, changed the, uh, the other channel design, the one that we got now, um, it had, for, for me, it had a lot of problems. Had a lot of glitching and crap and, you know, and crap and stuff and I couldn't do anything. So, but they would leave you options to leave feedback on stuff. You know, I did plenty of that. I did plenty of, I did plenty of bitching. But do the, do, I doubt that they're actually going to look at them, you know. I mean, YouTube, I don't think YouTube really fucking cares much anymore. All they care about is making money, so, you know, another thing is face, with Facebook, you can upload videos there too, but I think they can only be a certain amount of time, and they can only, they can't have any music, so, which 90% of my videos don't have music, but my one guy, my one, one of my subscribers, they're not my subscribers, I'm sorry, the guy that I subscribe to, He's a daily vlogger, and, you know, that's cool and everything. And he was talking about that mess, and he said that uh, if they do that, he says that he's just going to start uh, doing doing it to Facebook. Just start uploading the videos there. Because there you can do it for free. But, I don't know, I think YouTube's just uh, getting out of hand and not caring anymore. When I first joined YouTube, I had quite a lot. Of, I had a lot of fun with it, you know. I did. I liked uploading videos and didn't have much for subscribers, you know. I think I only had like five. So, you know, I did pretty good for the first season. You know, I got five subscribers pretty much right away. But you know, it's just, it was all right, you know. And but now it's just it's just getting out of freaking control. All YouTube cares about is freaking money, money, money. Facebook cares about money too, but not quite as much. And uh, I remember my mom, she joined the website for free. It's for free, but it's called uh, FooBar. It's kind of a stupid website. I did join for a while, but it's just, just so much bitching and crap going on there. So I got off. My mom stayed on for a while. Um, there's this guy that owns the website. He calls himself ba Baby Jesus or something like that. I don't know. But, I quit because I got sick and fucking tired of him. Um, because when you like people or Adam's a friend, then whatever they do, I guess, would pop up, up on your page too. And, I got sick and tired of listening to him freaking brag. Because now he makes millions on that website because everybody pays... To get the nicest things. It's, it's, it's really a stupid website. If you're on it. I would just get the fuck off. Because it ain't worth it. You know. and I got sick and tired of listening to him, to him brag. And I don't know how many times he's been to other countries. You know. Just, you know. It's just sucking us, us people. I'm freaking poor. 
Well, for the people that spend their money on it, which I don't, so I never did. So I said, the hell with it, and I said, well, I'm going to quit. I kind of did spend some money on Facebook, but that was really, wasn't really anything, really. And then I did it on uh, my PlayStation Network for my PS3s. You can buy, like, avatars and shit like that. I did buy some, you know, but... But then I quit because the PlayStation Network crashed for, like, a month. And... Well, actually, they shut it down because they had uh, major hackers going on in there. People were just hacking like crazy. And they still are, but they're just not major hackers. They're just hacking on the games now, but... But these people are actually hacking other people's accounts and getting their credit card numbers and, you know, it's sucking their bank dry. But I guess apparently they ended that pretty quick and, uh, I don't know if they ever caught the people or not. I kind of doubt it, but, but, you know, and, you know, and, and I just stopped spending money on that too. I don't want to, you know, lose my bank account and lose all my damn cash. I normally just try to keep the cash with me or in my house. Not in a freaking bank account. Because I really can't trust them either. So, you know, fuck it. The money the money's safer with me than it would be in a freaking bank account. There might be some people that disagree with that. But, you know, whatever. A lot of people like banks. And a lot of people don't like banks. And I'm one of them that don't like them. Yeah, I know the money's probably in a safe. You know, and the safe is probably bomb-proof and waterproof and everything. But... It's still digital, or not the digital, but the ones where your bank account is online now. That's where the hacking goes on. A lot of people can hack that way, and then they got your freaking your name and your numbers and all that crap, you know. Fuck that. I don't want those freaking bitches having my stuff. You know, I do order a lot of stuff online from, uh, well, from websites that, you know, I just I buy crap from. Like, I bought that John Deere spinner knob. You know, I bought that off eBay. You can trust eBay a lot more than you can trust Craigslist. I don't know how people can trust Craigslist, because that website has gotten a lot of negative crap. That's what my, my mom said that. She said that she went on there. Because I was actually thinking about making a uh, account on there. Because I was going to see where I could buy some stuff. I was thinking about maybe buying a wood stove from there because my one friend told me to go try it out. So, a couple of months later, I went and my mom went on the website for me because I was busy moving snow, of course. And she went on there for me and looked around and and 90% of the stuff was negative crap. I mean, there's a lot of hacking going on there too, so I don't really know if you can trust the, uh, Craigslist all that much. And for you, NYS Raptor 6, I think you're selling your more on Craigslist. I wouldn't fucking do it. I know maybe you maybe you like them, but I don't. If I was you, man, I would just sell that damn thing on eBay. Or put it in your local newspaper ad thing, you know? Like, if you, if you get... Like, around here, you can get newspapers weekly or so, but... Of course, we don't, but... You could probably put it in there too and of course then it goes all over florida so or around your area you know there you go you really i just you really can't trust the craigslist they have a lot of negative crap you know and i'm not going to really bother with it i guess i'll just stick with my ebay account so ebay seems pretty good ebay has gotten a lot of positive stuff and they uh <clears throat> Well, I've sold some stuff. Not much, but, you know, small stuff I didn't want. And, actually, that's where my mom's actually selling some of her stuff. She's actually just using my account, which is fine. I don't mind. I mean, it's better than her having to make an account, right? I mean, she could if she wanted to. But I said, why? You know, just do it. Put it on her mind. You know, which is fine. I don't mind it, but... You know, so she's selling some of her stuff. She just got done selling another item. <laughs> this is her second or third one now. So, so we're doing pretty good. That's surprising, but... 
I didn't think those things would sell all that good. I'm actually thinking about selling my, uh, I have a used, uh, PSP. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's another video game thing, but it's a little handheld device. I got some games and stuff with it. I think I might sell it for, I don't know, I never really used it all that much. I might have put maybe one or two hours on it, and pfft, that was it. So, I think all I have to do is clean her up, get, you know, get the... 10 years worth of dust off it and and shine her back up and test the games make sure they're working and test the cables and make sure the battery can actually hold the freaking charge and sell it for I think I could get 185 bucks for it I think I originally paid 300 for it but since it's such a used used uh, thing you know that's so old I could sell it I guess for 175 bucks and, which is nice. I don't, you know, I might do it. I don't really know. I don't really want to test it because then I might get into the habit of actually wanting to play it. <laughs> but I don't, honestly, guys, I don't really care for video games much anymore. I haven't played uh, video games on my PS3 for about a week. No, not quite that, but it's, it seems like it's been that. But no, well, my one friend hasn't been on for a while. I hope he didn't die or something, but, you know, I just freaking, I just stopped. I go on every, I go on once a day just to check the inbox and see if any of my friends are online and if they want to play, that's fine, but, you know, a lot of them don't, so, whatever. Might do that, might just sell that PSP and, and, uh, stuff. I mean, I got plenty of crap I guess I could sell, but, you know, I just don't really want to. I could even sell this stupid hedge trimmer if I wanted to, but I wouldn't get much for it. I mean, you know, there's plenty of stuff, but I shouldn't have to sell out just to make money to pay for other stuff. So, that's not really the plan, you know. The plan was to get the stuff and keep it forever, you know, and still be able to buy stuff. <laughs> but, uh... But anyways, <sighs> hope I didn't bore you guys. So, but I called my Polaris dealer today because I'm sick and tired of waiting. And uh, uh, he said that he's waiting on some parts. He says it can be fixed. So thank fucking God. But he's waiting for the for the parts. He thinks that they won't be at the Friday. It's just gonna fucking suck. And then. And then after that, he's gotta, of course, put it all together. And, uh. And stuff like that. So. But he's just. I tried to see if I could get a price range out of him. He said about 200 bucks. Maybe. You know. <sighs> I think it's so stupid. I gotta pay. Well, he doesn't really know, but he says it's probably a good chance that it'll be about 200 bucks, but... Because I talked to him, and I was like, do you think it would be under $100 or something, you know? He's like, well, I really can't give you a, a price, because he's still doing work to it, which they're still charging labor, of course, for it, too. So... He thinks probably no more than 200. I hope fucking hope not because, you know, I just don't want to have to be paying more than that. And I hope that fucking winch will last me. Well, it'll last me for the rest of this season. I mean, this season's pretty much well done with. We only got a few weeks left, and we're in. Spring doesn't start to the 20th of this month, so. We could just get past the 20th, we'd be alright then, but. I just want to get the, uh. Just want to get Big Red back up and running and get him out of the way. And uh, another thing, too. I'm going to buy the lawn sweeper. I am going to do that, but. I think I might add another tool to my. To my. Horde of tools. Well, it's going to be a big one, but. I'm actually thinking about buying. I got to look more into it course but they make little um 
Well, for farmers, they'd be hay rakes. Um, what farmers would use to gather the loose hay and put it into a windrow. Well, they make small ones for people that own a big yard like me. There's two different sizes. There's a 50 by... 50 by 20 by 30 or something like that. I don't know, but... But then there's another one. A 60 by whatever, whatever by whatever. So... The 50... You know, by whatever's... Is 299. And then the 60 is a... It's 399. Of course, well, I want the biggest one because I want less work. Um, for me, you know, but <laughs> um, it's apparently it can be pulled by a lawn tractor or an ATV. The tractor probably just pulled it behind my darn tractor, so it'd be a little easier for me. So, but uh. Uh, yeah, and I can get that on Northern Tools, too. I think I'll probably have to put it together, but maybe maybe my uncle will help me on that. I don't really know for sure, but if not, well, I'll put it together myself, and I guess it'll be some awesome vid videos. But, uh, I guess you know how it, how it goes. But it, it's, uh, it looks like a hay rake. Well, I don't think it's called that, but it just it just looks like one. If you guys want to see it, let me know, and then I'll make like a little video, or I could just put the link in the description for this video, and you guys can check it out. I guess I could do that too, but I don't want to have to do any more work than I than I want to. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I should have brought the book because it, it's in the book too. But let me guys, let me know, guys, if you want to see it. Because if you want to, then I can make a quick little video on it, but. I got three videos right now to upload, so I'm going to try to... I'm waiting for the, one, the first video to upload. Which, of course, will be up for this one, but... Plenty of videos. Keeps, keeps me busy, I guess. And, uh... And I'm keeping my camera, this thing, here, on the charger all the time. Because I don't know what the hell's going on, but... It just never wants to hold a charge. I don't know if maybe because I'm not filling it up all the way like it should be. I mean, it says it's full, but maybe it takes more than that to fill it. But So, for the past three days, every time I fire up my computer, I plug it in. I can charge my camera two different ways. I can charge it, of course, you know, in a power outlet, like, a, you know, in a, in a house. Or I can charge it off my laptop. I have a laptop. That's all I have for a computer. Because uh, those desktops, you know, they're freaking permanent. You can't do anything, anything with them. So, I got to, I just got a laptop, you know. So, which works pretty good. Plenty of plenty of horsepower, but and, and and I can charge my camera off my computer, which is what I mostly do. Because while I can get two jobs done at the same time, I can look at my videos. And then it charges the camera at the same time, so killing two two birds with one stone, right? So, which works out good for me. But I don't know if it, if maybe that way it doesn't get enough juice. It would probably fill up quicker if I just plugged it in right to the outlet, but whatever. My camera stays plugged in mostly all day anyway, especially when I'm editing, editing the videos together. Especially like that one that I did for a friend. So... That had plenty of parts to it, so but the camera stayed plugged in most of the day, and it's gonna go. As soon as I'm done with this video here, I'm gonna go plug it back in. Keep this fucking bitch charged. I might buy a new battery for it. I don't know. Maybe this one's getting a little dickered or works out. I don't know. I might just have to buy a new camera. I don't know. I don't want to have to buy a new one, but I paid a good chunk of money for this one, about 180. So not bad, but. Just a little, just a little thing, but works pretty good. I tried to make a video on it with my cell phone, but my cell phone's dickered again, so. And I got to do one of those fucking updates again. <sighs> I hate updates. I hate them so much. I swear, like, once a week there's a freaking update for my cell phone. But you know how it is. Stupid phones. 
but yeah, so when I get back in, I think I might I might go look at that rake. Hey, rake. Um, it looks all right. I mean, it looks like it would do the job. I don't think John Deere makes any small enough to uh, be pulled behind my lawn tractor, so you know, I think that one will do. If it's if it's a ball hitch or a pin hitch, well, I wish I, ho I hope it's a pin hitch, but. If it's a ball, then I gotta go buy a damn ball for it. So but that won't be a problem. Got plenty of freaking balls. There's one one on the pickup, but I think that one might be a little too big for it. So I like to pin hitch things better, like my John Deere trailer. You know, it's just a drop in pin and then the cotter pin thing at the bottom. So I like those a lot better. Just a and then out and the trailer's done. I suppose a ball hitch would be about the same, but I just don't care for those too much. And I noticed, too, that my friend that owns the uh, 1086 tractor, he came into town again last night. It was super freaking late. He had his big-ass freaking cattle trailer hooked on the back. Damn, it was like around freaking midnight. I don't know if he came from the farm or what the hell. I'm going to go stop at my grandma's after the video, and after I make this video here. And, uh... You'll see what the hell he was doing. I don't know if he just came into town for the freaking hell of it, but... I don't know. So, maybe he dropped the bowl off. It's a little early for the bowl. We usually don't take the bowl to, to right after the snow starts to disappear, right? So, yeah. We'll see. And, uh, stuff, so. But yeah, so I'll just, you know, some more bitching again. And, uh, Guess an update on the winch and stuff too. And uh, my hand over here is like freaking freezing. I don't know why, but it is. Oh, it's stiff too. But, uh. Oh. But yeah, so. Good old lovely updates for you guys. I don't think spring's ever coming, boys. I don't think it's ever coming. It's so freaking cold out right now. And. It's, uh. You know, more, more, more chance of snow and uh, and stuff, so. But it's good to know that he can fix my winch, but it's just going to cost a lot of freaking money. So I hope not too much, but I guess whatever. What can you do? So, uh, <clears throat> a clean workbench. Yeah, smoke some cigarettes. So... Clean the shop too a little bit, but especially gonna need this freaking roller, freaking disaster. So, but uh, good enough for now to spring until we can take all this junk out and uh, clean it some more. And I just really want to start doing some damn Grammy cold starts. You know, I wish spring would fucking come. It came last year. Why can't it come now? Too much fucking snow. I don't think it's ever gonna come now. Might be moving down south, boys. If the spring don't come, I'm moving. I don't want to deal with the snow. So, you know, I guess what, what can you do? So, I've oh, got another, uh, got another bald spot there. Freaking right. And I think I showed you guys too, there's this bald spot on the road. Freaking right. Uh, what's stupid is that the uh, rope plug guy came into town again, scraping the freaking roads. But there's nothing even on the damn roads. I don't know if he's just trying to knock the salt off or what, but... If there's nothing on the road, why do you have to come and plow it, you know? He just likes to come for the hell of it and piss everybody off and makes a loud scraping noises on the road. Stupid son of a bitch. Well, whatever, roads are super, super freaking clean. Like, you know, the main roads. These back roads don't mean nothing to anybody, so they just get all shit, so. <clears throat> but, you know, whatever. And I kind of think the sun's getting closer, because it's getting brighter out. I can't see shit. So, probably should have put my sunglasses on. Probably would have been fine, but. I don't like wearing those things in the cold, so. But, uh. 
it's nice to have the sun out. It keeps the house a little warmer yet, and I don't have to run the heaters quite, quite, quite as much. Still have to run them a little bit, but not quite as much. So, yeah. So, I do apologize for another boring video. I know I'm not making any good videos, but there's just not much going on. I'm just giving you guys some updates and bitching, of course, again, and YouTube's pissing me off, and and I'm waiting, I'm just just waiting for Facebook to change their fucking design again. I know they will. You know, and now they have that thing now on YouTube where it has that big blue bar right at the top of your your channel saying, "Do you want to try out the new channel design?" I just hit the damn exit button, the little the X button. I don't even want to see it. I did it, did it to the other one too, but it don't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing to them, though. You know, a lot of people bitched about the last channel that they didn't want it, but they still did it. They, they make you go through it. So, but that's stupid. I don't know why they have to change the fucking channel, the channel designs again. Just leave them the way they are. I mean, it's gonna get to the point where. Everybody's gonna fucking quit, and I mean everybody, because they're gonna they're gonna be sick of it. You know, YouTube is supposed to be YouTube, it's supposed to be about, you know, the person that that made the channel. So I made my channel. I should be able to fuck with it however I want. You know, I should be able to have this over there and that over there. You know, and colors my way. You know, they're making it so freaking boring. Like, like where the. Uh, where my video sits, and of course, like all of my favorite channels and whatever I have written in the things, that's all black and white. When the very first YouTube channel that I had, that I made a video on it, of course, because I knew they were going to change it, so they uh, <clears throat> fucking uh, I had it. I had it all set to you know John Deere colors, which I guess was kind of hard for probably some people to kind of read it, but. I did kind of plan on changing it again, but by then it was too late and they already had changed it, so. So, YouTube, you're pissing me off. One of these days I'll probably just end up fucking quitting because I'm just so sick and tired of it. You know, I guess, really, I guess all I would have to do is upload a video. And if somebody leaves a comment, I guess, just do that and leave it. I'm not doing anything else on it. Which is what a lot of people just do, like Bill T Max, so he doesn't watch any other, he doesn't watch anybody else's videos, he just uploads his own. And sometimes he'll re reapply to comments. That's all he does. Doesn't doesn't do anything else. I guess I guess I could do that too, but uh, I like to watch videos too, you know. Especially the other people that had subscribed to me. You know. Kinda of like returning the favor, right? So you watch my video and I'll go watch your videos. Which I don't mind. It keeps me plenty busy. That's what I want. So I don't want to be overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed yesterday with videos. So I was like watching videos for like four hours. I know I don't have to do it, but I want to get caught up and you know. And then there's just these two people on YouTube. They're vloggers too, and. Of course, they're all their, their couple and they have a kid already and stuff, but, you know, I didn't know they were uploading videos for two days because, well, they were, but I didn't know about it because there are so many other people upload videos that it just pushed their videos right down the list, so I never got the chance to see those, so I had to go to their channel and watch them. That's what happens with a lot of people's videos. They get just, they get pushed right to the bottom and I don't know about it because I'm not going to go through 100 pages to try to find that video. I might as well just go to the freaking channel and find it a lot quicker. So, I know for uh, NY Raptor 6, you upload one of your videos, and your video was right at the very freaking bottom of the list. I had to go like through 100 pages to freaking find the damn thing. Because, I don't know. Maybe I should un un unsubscribe to uh, Tractor House and stuff like that. They upload so many videos that it just pushes everybody else's videos right off the list. But, they're growing now, so that's good, but, I just, I just like, just, just whatever, stupid, but, I guess I'll find them eventually, those videos, and I'll, I guess I'll watch them, but, 
shouldn't have to uh, go through 100 pages or go to their YouTube channel to watch them, you know. So, but, you know, whatever. So, I hope that my one, one video is it's going to take 8 hours to uh, download it to my computer. So, but I've been doing that since 10 o'clock this morning. And it is now about 1.30. So, it eh, could be close to 2 o'clock, but, I don't know, but, and at around 11.30 in the morning, the damn siren was ringing again, so I don't know if there was another car accident or what, but, I didn't, I forgot to ask my sister, and she came over for her, her dinner break, so, from her, you know, her work, she was going on her dinner, dinner break now, so, I forgot to ask her, so, but, you know, whatever. And she doesn't know if she's going to make it down to the cities or not. This weekend. So. But, you know, we will guess we'll freaking see and see what the hell happens. So. But, yeah, guys. So. I guess that's pretty much well it then. Because I know my camera's probably going to die again. So. That's about I guess, all I can think about to talk about. So, just you know, I gave you guys a winch update and just some more bitching about YouTube and other freaking freaking garbage. But yeah, so I'm gonna take off and uh, I'll start uploading this video probably tomorrow. There won't be no editing to this one, of course. So thank God. So just be right up to YouTube. So, but yeah. So anyway, guys, I guess. Uh, have a good day. Don't forget to smoke some cigarettes and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, look at this, tips. Look at this. Yay. No clouds. Well, a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to take off, tubes. So, uh, see you later. Have a good day.